Hey there, Royal Stories fans. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the scandalous news that has rocked Meghan Markle's life in Montecito. According to recent reports, Meghan Markle has been caught paying paparazzi to take photos of her and her family in their neighborhood. But what really happened? And did her neighbors take any action? The Duke and Duchess of Sussex moved into their Montecito home in June 2020. And in a new interview, Meghan claimed that the couple fell in love with the house at first sight, but her neighbors complained that Meghan was breaching their privacy by paying paparazzi to photograph her. But what is the whole matter? Did Meghan's neighbor take any action against him? We'll give every answer to your questions here only on your favorite YouTube channel, Royal Stories. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Megan told we did everything we could to obtain this house simply because you come in and leave so quickly. Joy letting out a sigh of relief I was able to relax and focus. The effects are restorative. Currently you are unrestricted. It's simple to see why. Harry and Megan are so taken with the house that offers everything the couple could want and more including a spa tennis court outdoor pool, and a special playground for their kids Archie and Lilivet after moving in the pair made the property a home by adding their own touches here and there such as a grand piano given to them as a housewarming present by Tyler Perry and Rosewater. Candles from Soho House the Duke and Duchess of Sussex relocated to Santa. Barbara and July leaving behind there temporary residence in Beverly Hills. Since then, they have made their home in a $14.65 million Montecito house, which provides them with a great deal more privacy and solitude than their previous home in Beverly Hills did they believe that their new home which they find to be extremely invigorating will serve as the ideal setting for them to bring up Archie and launch their Post Royal Existence, which will involve a large production deal with Netflix that will extend over a number of years since Meghan Markle and Prince Harry moved into their new home in Montecito. Their new neighbors and the photographers that cover their life. There have been fighting with one another after Meghan and Harry moved into their new home at the beginning of August. The Hamlet was unfortunately invaded by a horde of drones, photographers and visitors. Something similar to this is extremely uncommon in Montecito which is home to a large number of renowned people due to the fact that the town is tucked away from the paparazzi you can probably anticipate that not everyone in the neighborhood is over the moon with the current state of affairs prior to making the journey to Santa Barbara the Duke and Duchess of Sussex slept at the Beverly Ridge Estates house that belongs to director Tyler Perry while they were in the Los Angeles area Doria Redland. Meghan's mother was also present at the residence together with the Sussex family and Archie who is one year old. She will be 66 years old this year. Despite this the couple short time at the Los Angeles mansion was tarnished by a number of intrusions into their privacy including photographers swarming, the grounds and drones buzzing overhead. In order to keep the paparazzi away it is speculated that they have employed. Perry's security team erected physical obstacles and even filed a lawsuit against a photographer who sold photographs of their son without attaining permission from them. The Sussexes decided to relocate there family and moved to Montecito in order to avoid the trouble of maintaining their Beverly Hills property. This is something that any self-respecting Hollywood A. Lister would do despite this. The photographers from the tabloids have continued their work nonetheless. According to our sources, the small community located just outside of Santa Barbara is continuing to experience an 
increase in the number of paparazzi who are hoping to catch a glimpse of the royal couple and their son. Helicopters are reported to be flying low over the region on a near constant basis sometimes as frequently as four times a day photographers are staking out their house and a neighboring shopping center in the hopes of getting a shot of the elusive critter which has proven to be difficult to photograph the hectic goings-on in what was previously a peaceful and secluded hideaway for a listers are beginning to irritate the locals famous personalities like oprah winfrey ellen degeneres and the kardashians all call montecito home and they have all been able to enjoy the town's restaurants and boutiques without attracting too much attention to themselves however megan and harry's fame if we have to use that term has entered a sphere that is often reserved for members of the royal family it would appear that the paparazzi are no longer concerned with the maintenance of peace and do you know it is not just photographers who travel to the region to try to catch sight of the sussexes the publication has also claimed that the number of people who go to the area has increased tourists have reportedly asked shop owners in montecito whether they've seen harry and megan despite the fact that the Sussexes have reportedly not been too far from their estate in recent weeks the question whether they've seen Harry and Meghan was reportedly asked of shop owners in Montecito instead the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were seen helping out in their old stomping grounds of Los Angeles by performing some charitable acts there the Impangdikovitz A foundation it has the new name that Megan and Harry have given to their charitable foundation, which was formerly known as the Sussex Royal Foundation. The couple made the announcement that they were leaving the royal family in January, which prompted the Queen to prohibit them from using the label royal in any future private or philanthropic efforts they may undertake even after a number of months have passed. The couple has not been undeterred by the prohibition or the persistent surveillance of the paparazzi but the latest news that we are going to tell you is that Josh King, Madrid and internet star author and podcast host has publicly approached Meghan Markle and Prince Harry the entrepreneur who claims to have made a million dollars through e-commerce in FTS and social media marketing has publicly stated that he is willing to pay over the odds here for the Montecito home that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been living in since the summer of 2020, a few months after they stepped down. Egyptian royals, the 24-year-old known as Jet Set stated, I'm putting it out there for everybody to see I want to buy. Prince Harry's mansion, even he wanted it so badly that he would pay one million dollars more than he did what do you think isn't it a fantastic deal basically josh king madrid is a businessman from the united states who has publicly off to buy megan and harry's property josh king madrid has offered to buy the property of prince harry and megan markle megan and prince harry paid 14.65 million dollars for the nine bedroom property which reportedly includes 16 bathrooms, Akba, pool, and a private gym, among other facilities. During an interview with a magazine, the Duchess recalled falling in love with this house, and she also stated Harry told her while staring at the palm trees, joined at the bottom position in the garden, my love, it's us, Megan continued. We tried everything to acquire this house because you come in and leave joy and then exhale and serene it is therapeutic you are liberated in may property websites in the united states value the 18 671 square foot home nearly twice as much as the sussex has paid only two years before but in more recent survey revealed the average house price in the area had no staffed and fallen by around 
45% earlier this month it was, reported that Harry and Meghan are considering relocating to the more affluent and isolated Hope branches. Santa Barbara, California enclaved, similar to Montecito, Mr. Madrid, who dropped out of the pre-medicine and business course at the, the University of California, Irvine in his first semester. In 2016, believes that even people with extreme wealth are feeling the pinch in the current economic environment given the recent rise in interest rates in the United States to combat inflation. This may persuade the dupe and Duchess of Sussex to accept his offer explaining why he is willing to spend more than the Sussex has paid for their current home. The entrepreneur stated that he believes the housing market will revive and that the gamble will eventually pay off. He continued, I'm not famous and I never intend to be that house would be ideal for me and I wouldn't have to worry about security as much because there wouldn't be paparazzi and royal family. Fanatics continuously stalking me, I could host pool parties all day and no one would mind so even if it takes five or ten years to recoup my investment, I will enjoy that house every second I live in it. Perhaps Harry and Meghan are unable to do so, which is why they are selling so. Some comments from everyone. Sue John's comment, she's so used to ringing the paparazzi to let them know what, where and when she's going to be. She did that while living in Canada at the beginning of her relationship with Henry. There should be a non-fly zone over the neighborhood, but she doesn't care. She has to do something to keep her in the news. They've never owned that property at all, least it like she always done. In conclusion, it seems that Meghan and Harry's quest for privacy has taken a hit with these latest developments. It remains to be seen whether their neighbors will take any further action against them or whether they will be able to find a solution that allows them to live in peace in their new home. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Royal Stories for more news and updates on the royal family.